In this presentation, we will take a look at the statement of cash flows related to a healthcare organization. We're looking at the differences and similarities between FASB and GASB, meaning the non-governmental not-for-profit and the governmental uh, not-for-profit organization, starting with FASB, non-governmental, can use either the direct method or indirect method. So when we think about the statement of cash flows, typically we know for the operating section, we can either use the direct method or the indirect method, or oftentimes we have some type of option between the two, or in other words, the, the operating section can be created in both of those type of ways, and sometimes there's restrictions as to which one needs to be used. Here, FASB, we can use either the direct or the indirect method. The sections of the statement of cash flow, as is the case with a for-profit type of organization under FASB, operating investing and financing so those are going to be the same sections as we would have for a for-profit type of organization if you want some more detail in terms of how to construct the statement of cash flows in a very systematic type of way we have a course on that it's the most complicated kind of financial statement typically for most people uh, to put together so we will have some example problems here on it but we go into a lot more detail on the statement of cash flows in another uh, course related to it for GASB requires the use of the direct method. Therefore, we have to use the direct method for GASB. And the sections that will be involved will be similar but slightly different. We have the operating section, the non-capital financing, the capital and related financing. So we kind of broke out the financing section, in other words, and investing. 